Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Fayal Raza and today we are here with our episode 7, uh, I'm sorry, episode 8 um, for our emotional preventive care series which we call hashtag emotional wellbeing matters. Today I'm going to talk about cabin fever. Cabin fever uh, is a very old term that generated from the areas that were very cold in winters. And basically, when the people in the, um, you know, West, when they were stuck in the winters and uh, before uh, they, there was, a, you know, a lot of uh, uh, progress and uh, development there, uh, what happened was they, they were very cut off from the civilization when there was deep snows and they were forced to uh, be away from the civilization, stuck at their homes, at their cabins. So this condition is also known as seasonal affective disorder and um, we must have uh, heard in the movies and the winter blues that we uh, hear about uh, but in Pakistan the warmer area this kind of uh, syndrome um, is associated with extreme heat when there is a, a extreme heat and you can't go out but uh, basically most of the time this is disorder is associated with very cold area. In COVID-19, we have witnessed uh, certain very extraordinary situations um, and, uh, and those situations are similar to being stuck in a cabin, like in cabin fever. So this uh, disorder, the cabin fever or the uh, seasonal affective disorder or winter blues uh, is being also observed in during COVID-19 lockdown. And the uh, you know uh, how they are similar together is that because uh, we feel isolated we we feel that social withdrawal anxiety we can't go outside we are forced to you know stay at home and um, um, this has made us very anxious and this uh, this is very much similar to depression in a way uh, that uh, we feel ourselves to be very unproductive and we feel we have no energy and um, we are do so unmotivated to do anything. So these type of feelings are very common and uh, uh, the most important thing to understand is it's okay not to feel okay. So when you are feeling all these symptoms and when you are going to the social media and uh, everybody is telling you that you have to take the best use of this time and you have to do this and that and you feel another sort of overwhelm that you are not doing enough so please be kind to yourself understand that it's a calamity this is a very uncertain situation that we are all stuck in this cabin fever that we are feeling is pretty much real and most people in Pakistan in our part of the world we have not you know felt like that before maybe especially when we had this uh, um, uh, wave of terror in Pakistan uh, when uh, in the in the time of war on terror uh, we feel stuck at home we were afraid to go out and all that um, so it's okay to feel what you're feeling um, the important part is that you realize uh, that uh, what you're going through to combat any feeling to combat any strong social uh, feeling you have to understand the first step is to acknowledge it at least understand that you're going through some things so this cabin fever what what it, does it uh, do is that when you are forced to lock down for a prolonged period of time so the people started, uh, you know, feeling body aches and fevers and without any uh, plausible reason. There was no medical reasons for that. So uh, the things was that because you had no connection, you were socially isolated, you had your, um, um, you feel unmotivated, you were not truly your 100%. So this is what is happening inside and if you could uh, see that initially when uh, we were uh, locked down in the f first few weeks we were okay we were trying to uh, you know replenish our uh, pantries and we were trying to figure out what is happening it was kind of a shock and now when it is set in and we know that we might be there for maybe a little time longer now uh, the reality has struck us that um, and now most of us find ourselves struggling uh, to wake up on time to doing our chores on time so uh, let me quickly share you 
few tips with you guys that can help you to overcome this uh, uh, cabin fever. First of all, you have to understand that you can overcome this. I'm not sure about if you have seen that uh, movie Shining where um, they were stuck in a cabin and the um, husband, the father goes, you know, really insane. And uh, um, cabin fever is not supposed to make you violent like in the film where he would say that all work and no play made Johnny a dull boy. So uh, this is what he kept on writing and writing. So it is not like that movie, uh, The Cabin Fever. And um, um, the thing is that we have to understand that we can overcome it. Um, it's in our hands actually. And by just realizing that what we are feeling, if we have no um, ailment and we, we are still feeling fatigued and if we haven't done any work and we feel exhausted, so we need to understand that something is not right here and we need to do something about it. So first of all, um, we have to understand that it's in our hand and we can overcome it by the way we think about it. So most things can be changed if you change the way you think about it. So uh, how you can do that, that find some purpose. You have to find some purpose, keep yourself engaged in some meaningful activities. Um, if you wanted to read some book for quite a long time and you couldn't find time, this is the time to complete that book. If you think you are a good writer, you could write stuff. This is the time to write your uh, uh, things, um, your diary, maybe the letters that you wanted to say to somebody and you were too shy and um, uh, you're not used to saying it in, in, in person. Maybe you can write them a letter. It's a good time to do that. So uh, find something uh, that would uh, be philanthropic, that could give you peace and joy inside. So find some purpose of your life. This is the time to self-reflect and think that uh, where you can um, find a greater purpose in life. And number one, uh, number second, I would say exercise. Because of what anxiety and depression and this cabin fever does to you, and this is why your body gets sick, is because uh, you're sedentary. When you're sedentary, it has been linked so to even if you exercise daily, uh, let's say you exercise for half an hour or one hour, but rest of the day, waking day, you're very sedentary and you are going, still going to feel those, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, depressive thoughts and things because uh, it's very important at this uh, stage when you are stuck and you are feeling these um, uh, seasonal affective disorder, which we call cabin fever, that you have to keep yourself active in the day. Uh, so uh, uh, break up your chores and tasks in, uh, over the day and find make a routine. Discipline is the key here. So this is all the more time to be disciplined, uh, to engage in activity. Because, uh, uh, you know, when you're active, especially, even uh, when you're exercising, your body produces insulin. Uh, even for the people who are diabetic, the best time, why they, they are being asked to, you know, do daily walks and uh, uh, similarly, it can lower your blood pressures. Even your exist pre-existing uh, medical conditions, you can improve by exercising. So uh, then, of course, diet. Uh, there are certain uh, good mood foods we call them good mood foods there are certain foods that can trigger you uh, you know the feeling of goodness uh, chocolate is known to you know give you the same feeling in the brain as as love does so it it, it, it triggers those hormones that makes you feel good there are certain hormones that are released when you are stressed and when there are certain hormones that are released so food is very much connected to that Eat fresh fruits, mangoes, beans, uh, um, bananas, and all the things that you... Uh, I was little when I was told that a little of what you fancy does you good. So if you're craving for something, your body might be telling you that you need that. Similarly, when uh, uh, if you find the, uh, all the fresh fruits, every seasonal fruit, every seasonal vegetable, it, there, there's a purpose of that for in that particular season. So find some good mood uh, foods that can elevate. Similarly, uh, uh, in the opposite way, if you f eat those foods that make you anxious, like very fatty, fried, fast food, and very spicy food, it's going to make you anxious. It's not going to make you feel good. So uh, the mood depends a lot on your uh, 
physical activity and then the food um, and this is very important that when we have to stay indoor we have to make sure that our internal environment um, is a very serene it's a very good one so bring some plants inside take care of them plants have good energy and um, like i have known you know i practice i'm a coach for meditation as well there is a meditation technique um, that is attributed uh, by going out and doing meditation with the trees and it says that the whole doctrine of that meditation technique is that that the trees and the plants have the capacity uh, to absorb your negative energies so bring those um, uh, plants inside especially that produce oxygen and purifies the environment because we are stuck in the home the, the doors and the windows are very much closed because of the fear that um, something out from outside can come in so uh, for your environment to be free uh, use uh, good you know plants and decorate your house and be keep it clean and organized and in order um, have you known uh, this uh, chinese uh, um, uh, you know there's a philosophy called feng shui and it says that uh, uh, the energy the good energy when it enters your house if it is blocked by furniture or things that you have placed so you are uh, your life would be in disorder so you have to keep sure that uh, keep uh, think of uh, anything that comes from your um, window or from your uh, front door that nothing should be abstracted that it is clear so it uh, make your uh, house arrangement very lean and clean and um, you would find that your mood is being elevated uh, by the arrangement in the house and uh, another thing i would suggest is aromatherapy uh, it 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 is very effective uh, for depression and things and uh, you must have some uh, um uh, you know uh, essential oils or maybe incessant uh, you, uh, you know sticks there are sticks uh, uh, that are used for those uh, um, incense jo uh, sticks hoti hain for uh, burning them and for good smell and every smell has a a, a mood effect on some uh, kind of mood so go for that aroma therapy things use uh, uh, diffusers for that use candles for that use uh, uh, the incense uh, uh, sticks for that so that uh, you feel good and cheery and the environment in the house is very clean um, and very uh, encouraging and positive and it creates a positive energy so uh, in the end i would say that uh, uh, allow yourself allow yourself uh, to feel right if you're feeling bad because every feeling has a life span so let that pass through your system if you're feeling sad let this sadness pass and tell your mind that it's a phase it will pass out your self talk is the software that runs your mind so this cabin fever and the feeling of irritability and and you know what 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 does it do it restrains the relationships so if you are very you know edgy all the time you're irritable all the time it's going to affect your relations and do understand that the other piece person is also going through the same phase so they they are fighting their own war and uh, if you dump all your frustrations and bad feelings onto somebody else they are not capacitated they are fully you know incapacitated right now so this is not the time to you know make relationship adjustment just let the phase pass and don't uh, uh, find yourself criticizing or trying to improve the relationship by talking it out because you are not in the right frame the other person is not on the right frame Uh, so you are feeling physical symptoms you are feeling emotional uh, feeling emotional symptoms so it's important to first work on yourself from for your uh, well being first uh, before you can go on and improving the relationship so just be kind and uh, you know apply restraint understand that there are certain limitations with your cognition your mental and your emotional capacity right now you have too much at hand and don't get overwhelmed by this pressure to perform 
you don't have to you know uh, learn courses do this and be successful and all that uh, give your uh, give yourself the time um, to heal so this is the time uh, that you need to reflect you understand your impediments you it's it's okay to be human you're human you have your human capacities and you have your limitations uh, sometimes you feel uh, unmotivated so you need to give yourself time it's just not that you spring up and uh, you just snap and you snap out of an emotion there is a life of an emotion let it pass through you uh, feel the grief feel the anger feel the anxiety and then don't stay in that state uh, but let it pass deny what i meaning is stop denying it what you're feeling has already entered the blood streams and and the you know chemical system of your body so let it pass and acknowledge so this is the time to reflect this is the time for astaghfar this is the time to take care of yourself this is the time to take care of your loved one and this is the time um, that we take a very uh, educated approach to things this is a very novel time this is a very unusual circumstances so uh, like cabin fever don't let your mind don't let your body uh, you know go to this uh, uh, sick feeling because uh, there is no um, medical reason behind it it's just the thoughts that are making us sick so change the way you think change the way you uh, you know it will change the way uh, your life is right now the same life same thing could be a source of bliss a source of you know um, uh, deep relaxation for you as well so make the best out of it we don't know how long we are going to be in stuck in that environment this is the time to coexist peacefully apna bahut khayal rakhiyega i wish you all the best and i hope uh, that uh, allah pak is uh, kind enough uh, so that we can um, we come out of this situation victorious and this is the time for us the far uh, another reminder and uh, take care of yourself allah hafiz